what, it's time for a new Tesla. Once again. just like the Ferrari. Two motors, front and back, about 600 plus horsepower, just like the Ferrari. That's not the bottom of a John boat to go bass fishing, that's the batteries. And that's one of the neat things about it. The thing is practically armored on the other side, so you can hit something or whack it, doesn't matter. It's all protected, it's solid. This car I bought, the, uh, the optional carbon fiber package, so it's got the matte carbon fiber on the dash and on there, on the console here in the middle. One thing unusual about Tesla's, unlike any, it's got to be the only car in the planet you cannot plug an iPod into. Um, I don't know what Elon's deal is with uh, Tim Cook and Apple, but they like you to use the Bluetooth. So what you have to do is you have to go buy a 128 gig thumb drive and then plug it into the thumb drive down here and it will read it just like an iPod. But connect straight to an iPod, doesn't happen. We're going to try out the autopilot here, and these white lines are the best explanation for how the autopilot works. We found there are cameras that are built into the front and onto the side fenders of the car, and when I turn it on in a second, and it's really easy to turn on, all I'm going to do is just click the same lever that you would click to set the um, cruise control, but then, so I'm going to click it once, cruise control is going to be on. What happens is on the dash there's a little emblem down here that looks like a steering wheel. And when that emblem comes on that means that it is ready and all I got to do is tap it once, tap it twice. So hands off, we're driving. How you can not think that driverless cars is just around the corner, I don't know how.